Even if you don't know Zack Snyder by name, you are most likely familiar with his work. In a short period of time, Snyder has carved out a niche within the comic book superhero film universe through his stunning effects and a very unique visual style that includes dynamic compositions and highly saturated colors that enhance his storytelling. Snyder burst onto the scene with his feature directorial debut, 2004's Dawn of the Dead. Armed with a handful of Clio awards for his work in advertising, Zack was tasked with tackling the remake of the classic George A. Romero zombie film. Snyder had a hefty budget and put it to good use, employing some big budget special effects, something that would become a stylistic Snyder hallmark. The film was well received and put the newbie director on the map enough to get his next project greenlit. Although 2006's 300 was only Snyder's second film, it would both introduce and define what would become his signature visual style. With heavy influences from Frank Miller's graphic novel and stunning slow motion effects, Snyder used his visuals to underscore the unfolding violence as well as the tone of the film. 300 also proved to be the first of many times in his films that Snyder explored the theme of the tragic nature of heroism. That, coupled with his newfound reputation for high body counts and widespread destruction, the young director was beginning to make his mark on fellow filmmakers. Snyder's next project would be his first foray into the costume superhero genre. Watchmen was another hot graphic novel studios had been looking to adapt to the screen. The property was entrusted to the young director who continued to explore and refine his stylistic, slow motion effects driven visuals. Not to mention his rising body count. Although the end result got mixed reviews, the film showed the evolution of how Zack would treat costume characters in movies to come. With Sucker Punch, Snyder not only continued to play with visual storytelling, but he also played with music in the form of stylized montages set to popular songs, a callback to his days directing for the likes of Morrissey and Soul Asylum. Most recently, Snyder has been tasked with bringing the DC Comics universe from comic book pages to the silver screen. In a genre dominated by the Marvel Universe, Snyder hopes that his take on the genre will prove successful with audiences. So far, he's off to a flying start with his take on the Superman mythology in 2013's Man of Steel, which will be followed up by the hotly anticipated Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. If early buzz holds true, Snyder's unique style should be firmly cemented in the superhero action genre, which is no easy feat, considering the recent surge in this franchise-driven genre that is constantly trying to raise the level of action and intensity with each new movie release. With the body of work he has created so far, along with the continued evolution of his style, Zack Snyder is definitely an influencer.